Welcome back viewers. In today's video, we are going to install the dash to doc light Gnome extension to OpenSUSE Gnome desktop. So I have installed the OpenSUSE Tumbleweed Gnome desktop on my system. And now we are going to install dash to doc light Gnome extension. So this is the GitHub page of dash to doc light Gnome extension. So you have to follow the instructions given here. So the instructions are given here. So for the manual installation, you have to clone the repo. So this is the instruction or the terminal command to clone the repo. Then you have to CD or you have to make the dash to dog light directory current. And then you have to issue the make command to install it on your system. And make sure that the Gnome shell version should be 40 or above 40 on your desktop. Otherwise, it will not work. If you are using the AUR repository, you can use this command. So you can uh, use this command to install the dash to doc light Gnome extension from the AUR repository. So here AUR repository can be installed in many of the Linux distributions, not just Arch, non-Arch based Linux distributions also. You can install AUR and you can work with that. And the second make command is like this make package space dash si. Then there are certain other alternatives. For example, you can also install it from the gnome.org extensions uh, web page. You can also uh, check out the dash animator. It adds the an animation to dash to doc. So if, if you have got dash to doc and if you don't want to install dash to doc light, then you can install the dash animator to the dash to doc and that will uh, change the dash to doc to dash to doc light like uh, functionality and also you can add the configuration for the dynamic icons to your dash to doc so you can convert the dash to doc to a uh, we can say functionality similar to dash to doc light else best, best is to install dash to doc light which is very uh, it is indeed very light than dash to doc it is very responsive to the mouse and the user inputs and it is, I think it is better than dash to doc but if you don't want to install dash to doc and you want to continue with dash to doc only simple dash to doc then you can add the functionality of the dash animator dynamic icons to the dash to doc and make it work similarly like dash to doc light so all the instructions are given here I will leave the link to this github page in the video description now let us go over to the installation so you have to open your command so you have to open your uh, terminal and you have to issue this command git clone https github.com ice, ice dman dash to doc dash light dot git so it will clone the application from the github page then you have to make the dash to doc light directories current so you make the current uh, dash to doc light directory you have to issue the make command it will install the dash to doc light genome extension then you have to reboot your system always reboot the system once you are rebooted the system you have to open the genome extensions and here you can see you have to enable this and you have to do the settings for the dash to doc animated so i have done certain settings so the size you can see here the size i have chosen and the icons are not getting that much animated they are smaller in size and they also don't jump uh, vertically that much so I reduce the jumping of the icons whenever the mouse goes over them so I will just enlarge this no it is not getting enlarged but you can see these are my settings you can copy my settings so you can freeze the video screen and then you can copy my settings these are the general settings for the dash to dock light again I am doing it once so you can take a good look now over to the style tab here this is what I have done you can check out how much icon size I have kept icon effect icon effect color dash settings so this is the settings I am using these are my favorite settings so you can just copy this and that will make the thing very easy for you now over to the tweak tab so this is the animation uh, settings done by me 
the performance settings, the behavior settings. So this works very well for me. And in the more section, you can configure the special icons. You can have the clock icon, calendar icon, mounted device icon, trash icon, favorite apps icon. So that you can do. I don't use that. I only use the trash and the apps icon. That's enough for me. So what I will do is now I will close this. I will close this also. I will just show you how it works. So it's very, uh, very fluid. There is no latency here. And it does not uh, load my CPU also. CPU usage is kept minimum. It is very light and very uh, snappy Genome extension. So on this note, I will stop the video here. See you in the next video. Bye bye.